Hello and welcome back to Lorefan I mean, Plays Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'm your host, Lorefan. In this Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video guide, I show the perfect post game Pokemon team. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video guides like this. Do not forget to hit the bell to be updated and more. I'm going to go ahead and go over a few things. Now, uh, number one, I am playing Pokemon Violet. However, I will show Scarlet alternatives. Which I feel like that's very important. Also, I'm going to tie in this section is the stars. I have the fire stars. However, I will uh, put out the uh, best move set for the grass and uh, water stars also. Last but not least, uh, this is post game. I'm doing this all in, so I'm at area zero, as you see before you, and I will only show the three area zero Pokemon's from, of course, Pokemon Violet. You could get there uh, too. I will uh, definitely list uh, any of the uh, Pokemon Scholar Arternos if they're in Area 0 or uh, not. Uh, another thing is I uh, make sure a certain Pokemon has one certain type. There's exception to about one or two of them that has two types, but still I'll list those uh, two. Use my timestamps to help you out on uh, which uh, Pokemon you want to get for the perfect team. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the starters first. Now, I decided to uh, add my Fire Starter because I feel like this is actually a very good Pokemon. For those of you who have the Fire Starters, uh, Skeletridge is a very good uh, Fire, and then it also adds a Ghost type, which is a very nice uh, combination. So, its Fire moves are very uh, powerful. So, I'm going to go over, uh, of course, uh, this Pokemon's uh, moveset, what uh, held items, and more. Now, let's go over to held item. It's Charcoal I'm using, it boosts up Fire type moves. Its terror type is fire, so that's very good. So my main point of this Pokemon is going to do some fire damage. Ghosts and, of course, dark types are secondary. Now, uh, my uh, move set is uh, Bite. This does is uh, it's a dark type move that uh, makes the target flinch. If they flinch, they miss a turn, which is a good thing. Torch Song, uh, it does a lot of damage. It also boosts up your special attack. Keep on spamming Torch Song. It'll go higher and higher, and boom, your foe goes down. Overheat I use to ensure for uh, two reasons that your target goes down, number one. Number two, the Pokemon using it never comes back in the battle. That's what Overheat's about. Shadow Ball is a good ghost type move. It's very powerful. If it connects, it destroys the foe. If not, sometimes it lowers the special defense. Then I can use Torch Song to finish it off. Overall, this is a great fire Pokemon. Now, I will list the alternative one for those of you who uh, didn't pick this uh, fire starter. So I'm going to go over the uh, next uh, one, which is the Grass Fire Start. Now I'm going to put some cliff notes for uh, that. Meow Scardaria. This is a Grass and Dark type move. It starts out as Grass. This is a Grass Starter. Now it's a uh, Terra type as Grass. You want to get Miracle Seed, so this way you uh, do a lot more Grass type damage. Which is a very good thing. Now move set, Flower Trick, Grass move, always does critical hits. Best for grass types, I feel. I believe this is exclusive to this Pokemon. Seed Bomb, another great grass type move. In case Flower Trick does it uh, kill your foes, this grass type move does. Sucker Punch is a good dark type move to uh, use. Hits hard on your opponents. Knock Off, it's a dark type. And attempts to remove your opponent's held item. If it does, it does extra damage. So uh, if you uh, didn't get this uh, grass starter, then I, I say try to trade for it. That's the only way to uh, do it. For those who have the grass stars, you have a very good uh, grass type Pokemon, even a secondary uh, dark type one uh, too. I'm gonna go over to the next one, which is the uh, water type, in these uh, notes just like this. Let's uh, go ahead and talk about the water starter in its final form, the Quavol. Yeah, that's hard to pronounce. This is the water starter in its final evolution form, which is a water and fighting type. I'm going to focus on the water uh, type, of course. This is a uh, terror type water, which is good. Holding item you want is Mystic Water. Boost is water type move uh, damage, which is a good thing, especially foes against weak against water. Now, I researched some of these moves. Uh, obviously, Aqua Step is a very solid move for this uh, Pokemon. Water move does damage and boosts your speed. Faster you are, more first uh, chance attacks you do get, which is a good thing. Wave Crash, I read over uh, the other one is uh, the best out of the two. You can also pick Waterfall, that's a nice alternative too. It's a heavy uh, damage move you want. Now, Close Combat, this is an OP fighting type move. Now, the bad news is your defenses will go down, but you will hit hard. Another good thing I put in is Sword Dance, it increases your user's attack power. If you want to use that first, then use your Aqua Step or your Wave Crash, or if your opponent's weak against fighting type moves, Close Combat. 
that's about it for the three starters. I'm going to go over the next uh, Pokemon you uh, want to uh, get for the, your uh, team. Next is Vakarona. This is Lobsaria's final evolution form at level 60, I believe. It might be uh, 58 or so. I don't remember, but still, I have Lobsteria video on how to get it in my uh, mid-game guide. This is a uh, bug type and fire type uh, Pokemon, mainly fire first, but I'm using it for its bug types because I feel like its bug types is much better utilized uh, that way. So it's the best uh, bug type Pokemon out there. And believe me, there's some cer certain situations you're going to need bug type Pokemon to uh, annihilate foes. I'm going to go over the uh, hold items of Sarah. Now, first of all, this is a uh, bug and fire type. I focus it on its bug type because I felt like it was better that way. Now, uh, Silver Powder is at best uh, to hold for this Pokemon. Uh, bug type moves get empowered, which is good. That's what we want. Its stats are not bad. Now, uh, it has Flame Body. It may uh, burn the Pokemon. That's a nice bonus. Fire Blast is a uh, good, actually, Pokemon type fire move if you want to go that route. Bug Buzz is a really good move. It generates sound waves. Now, maybe you want two Pokemon immune to that, but still it's great enough to use. It also drops your point of special uh, defense down. Hurricane's a nice air type move I use for my air type Pokemon. Quiver Dance is like a buff, buffs your special attacks, special defense, and your speed stat. That's very good. So I feel like this is the best bug type Pokemon you want out there. I'm going to go over the next uh, Pokemon on the list. Next up is King Gambit. Now, this is Biz Sharp's uh, final evolution form. Now, uh, if you uh, get the Parnar, that's the first one. Then it's Biz Sharp. Then, of course, it's uh, King Gambit. You got to do some uh, things in order to do so. I have a video on that. Now, this is a Steel and uh, Dark type Pokemon. Now, for this section, I decided to add both. You see, I feel like they're the b uh, best of both worlds out there. Actually, Steel type, I feel like it's uh, now uh, tied with Tink and Ton. We'll get more of that later on. Still, it could do uh, very powerful moves, like for example, Iron Head Steel type, and the other one is, of course, for instance, Night Slash and uh, Koto Klee for the Dark type moves. This Pokemon could shred that other Pokemon up if you're facing the right type of Pokemon, of course. So I'm gonna go over our uh, King Gambit's uh, move set, held items, or anything else that's important of the uh, matter. Now, uh, obviously, this is a Dark and Steel type Pokemon. Steel type is its Terraform. I went with the uh, Muscle Band because it does uh, physical uh, moves. It does a lot of damage when it does that. That's what you want. And uh, let me uh, tell you, this Pokemon uh, did get me through some uh, tough battles due to its stats. It has very good stats. I'm going to go over its move set, X Scissors. I kept this for a grass type move. Now, if you don't like it, uh, Sword Dance, uh, replace it with that. Boost up for attack if you want to go that route. Iron Head, I decided to go with. It's the only iron uh, steel type move I feel that was good enough for this Pokemon. Does a lot of damage with it. Uh, make, and it also makes your target flinch. Your target flinch, they cannot, of course, uh, hit you in the same round. Night Slash uh, it has a chance of heightening a, a critical hit. If it does a critical hit, yeah, that's it. Koto Cleave does a lot of damage and it never misses. This is a great uh, move to finish off opponents that are weak to dark type Pokemon, of course. That's about it for uh, King Gambit. I'm going to go over the uh, next uh, Pokemon. The next one is a Violet Exclusive. I'll get to Scarlet Exclusives in, in a bit. This uh, Violet Exclusive is Electric and Dragon type, which is a uh, Mirrodon. Now, uh, you uh, definitely have access to uh, this as a Pokemon in post game. It has some good Electric and, of course, Dragon type moves. I'm using its Electric uh, type moves, for instance. This is your uh, big time keeper. For uh, those of you who's been using uh, Paw Moot for a while, this is uh, actually a great replacement to it in the Electric department. As for the uh, dragon type I'm about to uh, show off, it's a uh, very good uh, too. Now also, uh, if you uh, did notice, uh, it does some kind of electric uh, roar too. But still, let's go back to the dragon moves. With the right dragon moves, you'll uh, be able to uh, wreck foes like crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this fool off with Draco Meteor. I'm going to get to that in a few uh, moments. So here's the move sets, held items, and more. Now, this is electric and dragon type. Its terror type is uh, dragon, which is very nice if you uh, did uh, see that one fight. I did use booster energy, kept its held item, and it also boosts the strength of the Pokemon. Very good to have, by the way. Now, uh, the, it has a hard engine that turns the ground electric uh, terrain and powers the Pokemon's uh, t uh, special attack, which is uh, good. Now, uh, here's the uh, deal. The next thing I want to talk about is Draco Meteor. This does a lot of damage, however, because of it, the downside of it, it drops your special attack. Now, you can use other dragon moves, which is uh, good too. 
And uh, when you do terraform, it will have a terra blast. It'll be uh, doing dragon type damage. It's a good reason to go ahead and uh, do that. Now, uh, electric type moves are very good. Electro drift does a lot of damage. And if it's, for example, a super effective hit, it does even more damage. Great to have against opponents uh, that's weak against electric type Pokemon. Another good move I put in there is Thunderbolt. This is another uh, great uh, electric type move. You do a lot of damage with it. You wreck foes like crazy. Yeah, sorry, I have to keep it there. And it also may paralyze uh, your opponents too. That's about it for uh, Mirrodon. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get to the Scarlet Ride version, which is a uh, Corridon, I think it's called, which is a dragon and uh, fighting type Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk about Scarlet's uh, version of Mirrodon. This is a uh, fighting and dragon type Pokemon if you want to go uh, the fighting route. I feel like it's a great dragon type too. Now, uh, this is a uh, Terra type is dragon. Holding I'm, I say I would go with Mirrodon's one, which is booster energy. It boosts up certain uh, Pokemon abilities, which is good. Move set, uh, close combat, OP fighting move does a lot of damage, however, it drops your defense. C collision, uh, of course, uh, another great fighting move uh, does some serious damage. Uh, I would say collision, of course, then close combat to finish off your opponent who's weak to fighting moves, or say fighting types. Uh, Draco meter, OP dragon move, uh, yeah, it drops your special attack, but it does a lot of damage. Best of all, Terror Blast, just like Mirrodon, uh, you go into Terror uh, form, you, become, you have uh, the dragon thing on top. Use Terra Blast against a uh, Dragon type Pokemon or uh, Pokemon that are weak to Dragon types to annihilate them. Uh, that's about it. I'm gonna go over the uh, next Pokemon. Now uh, this one, I feel like it's like an honorable mention, but for those of you who does not want to use your rides at all, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, talk about his uh, Paw Moot, which is a uh, electric and of course fighting type. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about an honorable mention, which is Paw Moot. For those of you who does not want to use uh, your ride, for example, for its electric type or fighting types, this is a good Pokemon to uh, go for uh, those of you, for example, with Scarlet. Uh, wants to use uh, electric type. Well, this is a great Pokemon to use for uh, that. Now, uh, Paw Moot has some great electric moves and fighting moves. And those of you who are uh, facing against opponents weak against electric will annihilate them with ease. As for uh, fighting types, uh, they'll uh, wreck them too, especially normal types, since they are weak to fighting type moves. So Paw Moot's a very good Pokemon to have. I felt like uh, there was uh, better ones out there for uh, Pokemon Violet, for Electric type, and of course the uh, fighting types. As for Scarlet people, I'll probably say it's definitely use Paw Moot for the Electric type, unless you find Electric type Pokemon exclusive to uh, Scarlet, that is uh, much uh, better. As for fighting types, you got Corridon. That's a great fighting type of Pokemon also. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about Paw Moot's uh, move set and hold items, etc. Uh, this is electric and fighting type Pokemon. Terror type is electric. Uh, hold items I'm using is Razor Claw. Uh, boosts up critical hit ratio, which is uh, good. Now, as for uh, Paw Moot, close combat's uh, great to use. Does a lot of damage. However, downsize lowers your defenses and special defense stats, unfortunately. Brick Break uh, won't uh, lower your defenses. Instead, it'll break up barriers like Light Screen and Reflect. As for electric moves, Thunderbolt is a, a very nice OP uh, Pokemon electric type move to use. Spark is another uh, good one to uh, have also. Palm moves are a great substitute if you don't want to use your rides uh, uh, special types or uh, if you're in the Scarlet situation, electric type Pokemon. So let's get to the next Pokemon type, shall we? The next Pokemon list is Tinkaton. This is a Fairy and Steel type. I'm mainly using it for its Fairy type moves. Sometimes I use it for a Steel type. Even though I feel like King Gambit has a slight advantage over it. Still, uh, this is a uh, great Pokemon to have. So, for instance, I'm using Play Rough. It's a Fairy type move. It will annihilate foes like crazy. Any foes is extremely weak against it. In other words, you score super effective damage. We'll be shot one shot big time with Tinka Tough. Now, Tinka Tough is a Fairy Steel type I mentioned. Its Terra type is Fairy. I use the Muscle Band since uh, it does a lot of physical uh, damage moves, which is a good thing. So I'm going to go over, over uh, Tinkaton's moveset because I feel like uh, it's a great idea. Besides its wonderful stats and own tempo, no words won't be uh, confused or intimidated. Here's the list. Now, uh, first of all, Rock Smash. This is my uh, go-to move to weaken uh, target's defenses. So I hit that. It's a fighting move. Boom, their defense is weakened if I get lucky. Then I use Play Rough. That does a lot of damage, especially if uh, your opponent's defense is way lowered. And super effective... Yeah, it's dead. It's gone. It also drops your target's uh, attack moves, too. Uh, I have two Steel-type moves. Gigaton Hammer is good. However, you can't use it twice in a row, but it does a lot of damage. I have backup is a uh, Flash Cannon. 
Now, if I could have any other good fairy type moves, I'll definitely use those too. Overall, uh, Tinkaton is a great fairy type Pokemon. Can do a lot of damage in the rightful uh, situations. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next Pokemon on the list. This is a uh, Pokemon Violet exclusive, which is Iron Hands as Electric and, of course, Fighting Type Pokemon. For you Scarlet players out there, uh, if you want a Fighting Type Pokemon, uh, you use your uh, Corodon, your Ride, or if you're really lazy and don't want to use a Ride, Pomu is a great substitute. It's exactly like this one. I say probably slightly uh, two steps down uh, from, of course, Iron Hands. For you Violet players, yeah, go for it. Now, if you Scarlet players also, uh, go ahead and try to trade for it too. And that's a great way to uh, get this Pokemon, or uh, better yet, go into someone else's uh, game who's a Violet player, and of course uh, try with them to Area Zero to uh, get this Pokemon. So Iron Hands, I said before, is a Fighting and Electric type. However, it's Terra type to Electric. I would change it to Fighting type, so this I felt like it's better that way. Uh, use the Muscle Band because you're gonna be using a lot of a lot of physical moves, I should say, and it does a lot of damage that way. Now uh, the two moves I picked for is Force Palm, which does a lot of damage. Of course, and the other one is uh, close combat, but I'll uh, go over those after I uh, show everybody what Quark Drive is. And, which means uh, it boosts uh, your stats on Electric Train or your Pokemon's holding uh, Booster Energy. Get Booster Energy as a hold item too if you can. Uh, Force Palm does is attacks the target with Shockwave. It may leave the target with Paralysis. No words will be paralyzed. Uh, good move to have. Uh, close combat's good, does a lot of damage, but your defenses, both of them will lower. Uh, use this to absolutely finish off your target before switching to another Pokemon or so. If you want to use this electric type move, Wild Charge is a good electric type damage. And uh, you take a little damage, but you do some damage. Another one is Thunderbolt, which is a great way to do some serious damage without getting some feedback damage yourself. And of course, it also paralyzes your target. Uh, that's about it for Iron Hands. Uh, use, uh, like I said, for Palmu or uh, Corridon for your fine type Pokemons if you're Scarlet players. So let's go to the next Pokemon, shall we? Here is another fire type. reason why I put this fire type there is for uh, those you who cannot get a, a Skeledridge via trade at all. This is a, a good fire type Pokemon, Arcana. It does a lot of fire damage. This is a uh, pure fire type. So those of you who didn't pick the fire stars instead went with uh, Water and Grass. This is a good Pokemon to actually uh, have. So I'm demonstrating right now is combat. Prowling this against foes weak against fire. Now as for... Uh, it's uh, stats, it's a fire type, terror type is fire. This is a pure, pure fire type Pokemon. Sorry I had to say it twice, but I have to do it. Uh, Charcoal, uh, it powers up your fire type moves. That's what we want. Hyper Voice is a uh, nice uh, normal type Pokemon move that does some nice, uh, decent damage. Uh, decent to have and use. Flamethrower is great to use. It's another uh, powerful fire type move. Burns your foes like crazy. Another one I like to use is I uh, tested it out a few times is Protect. It protects yourself from all attacks, 
And of course, uh, your opponent, for example, uses its best uh, move against you that's your weak to. That's when you know you switch out your Pokemon. So a good way to uh, indicate that. Heat Wave, uh, user attacks with Hot Breath, does a lot of damage, and the opponent might be burning, which is another good thing. So if you didn't get Skeldridge, or you don't like Skeldridge at all, this is the Pokemon to uh, use. It's for both games, very easy to catch early on. All you need is a Firestone to evolve into it, and you'll own big time on the battlefield with this pure fire type Pokemon. So I'm going to go over the uh, next Pokemon on the list. Next up is the Flying and Dragon type uh, Dragon Knight. I'm mainly using it for its Flying type move since I feel like it's really powerful for a Flyer. And I'm going to say it right now, it does a lot of damage as a Flyer too. Now uh, you have to evolve it about two times in order to get the Flying uh, status, but it's good enough. So I'm demonstrating right now why uh, this uh, Pokemon owns in the skies. See, I'm using Hurricane and boom. Uh, this level 55 uh, foe in uh, Area Zero gets uh, wasted big time. Now, Dragonite is a dragon and flying type Pokemon. Its terror type is dragon, but I advise changing it to uh, flying by getting uh, 50 of the uh, broken uh, flying terror shards. Then go visit the restaurant to uh, do so. Uh, Sharp Beak, uh, hold, use that as your holding item since your uh, flying type moves does a lot of damage with it. And let me uh, go over to the uh, stats. Okay, inner focus real quick. It prevents you from being flinched or intimidate, which is good. Hurricane! This flying type move does a lot of damage. I used it for uh, one of the Team Star battles, and I was like one shine, two shine foes like crazy there. Slam's a decent move to uh, use if you want to use normal type moves. That's why I put it there. Uh, Fly's never a uh, good backup for Hurricane in case you can't use it or you run out of charges because you went careless during a long series of battles. Uh, Fly does goes in the sky, then lands on down, does damage against foes. Dragon Dance is another good buffing move for attack and speed stats, which is uh, good though. You just have to buff up before battling uh, hard fights. Other than that, uh, this is the uh, flying type Pokemon uh, to go for uh, both uh, versions. So I'm going to go over the next Pokemon. The uh, next Pokemon on the list is a Pokemon Violet exclusive. It's a ghost type called Dragaput. Now, uh, Dragaput. Uh, has uh, two previous forms I uh, shown in video. One is called Dreppy, and then the uh, other one is uh, Dragloak. Uh, from Dreppy at level 50, it evolves to Dragloak. From uh, level 60, it, drag it evolves into Dragaput. Uh, this is a, uh, a good uh, ghost type Pokemon. It's also a uh, dragon type, too. I use it mainly for uh, ghost type uh, moves, just in case uh, there's uh, ghost type uh, foes, or I should say other uh, Pokemon weak to ghost types. As I said before, Dragon Ghost type, Terraform, I should say Terra type is Ghost, which is very uh, good. I'm using the Wise Glasses, so this way my special moves get boosted up big time. Has clear body, prevents move abilities, lowering Pokemon stats, which is good. I have four moves exactly, and they are very great. Since it's focusing uh, mainly on its uh, Ghost types, Dragon Dance is a nice uh, buff move. Use that to uh, buff your uh, Pokemon up like crazy. And uh, another thing is, is a uh, Terror Blast. Now, when you hit Terror Blast and you uh, use your Terror Orb, then uh, use this and it'll do Ghost type damage, which is great. Shadow Ball, one of the best. I feel like uh, uh, Ghost type moves not only does great damage, it also drops your opponent's uh, special defense too. And then you keep on spamming that, you do more and more damage, and that's it. Phantom Force, it disap you disappear, then strike the target again. This move even uh, hits a target if it protects itself. This is a great uh, move uh, against people who use this protection or some other uh, BS uh, protecting uh, move. Uh, that's about it. I'm going to go over the uh, Scarlet uh, version of, of course, uh, Dragaput. And I feel like the uh, Scarlet version is a bit better. For those of you who cannot get Dragaput or cannot trade uh, for Dragaput, get Fluttermane instead. You will need to go to Area Zero, aka the uh, post-game area, where you'll be able to capture it. Now, this is a uh, fairy and ghost type Pokemon. Its terror type is fairy. I do advise changing it to ghost type. Holding item, get yourself a booster energy. In fact, Fleur mains do us uh, sometimes from time to time hold those. So if you can steal a booster energy from it, go ahead and do so. And of course, boosts up boost uh, Pokemon certain skills. Move sets, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tell everybody this. Shadow Ball, great uh, ghost uh, type move, very OP'd. Phantom Force vanishes and attack next turn. Great to use too as backup. Moonblast, OP fairy type move. This move annihilated my dark type in one of the uh, gems. So it's a really powerful move to have. And it's a fairy type too. Terror Blast, extremely OP. 
change it uh, to a Terra Blast. Uh, like for example, use your Terra Orb, I should say. And then, of course, if it's Ghost type, then uh, use uh, that uh, move next time and boom, blast your opponents like crazy. Uh, that's about it for uh, this uh, Ghost type. Remember, if you're a Pokemon Violet fan, you have to go ahead and trade it. Otherwise, uh, Pokemon Scarlet people, go ahead and capture it. Get it ASAP if you get to Area Zero post game. Next uh, Pokemon to uh, get is Breloom. This is a uh, grass and fighting type. Now, I uh, did get its uh, previous uh, form in the uh, another video, which is the uh, mid game uh, team. This is your permanent end game team slash post game team. Breloom uh, is a great substitute to the grass star. So, if you didn't get the grass starter or if you don't like the grass star, Breloom is the way to uh, go. Any opponents weak to grass will get annihilated, like this rock type here. So let's go over the move set and anything else that's important too. Now, uh, first of all, Breloom is a grass and fight type Pokemon. Its terror type is grass. Now it has Miracle Seed, that's why I give it for its hold item. It boosts up the grass type moves. That's why I want exactly is uh, that. So other than that, uh, ability it also has is Poison Heal. Anytime it gets poison, instead of uh, poison getting take away hit points it gives back hit points it's like a healing thing it's real nice now let's go over the uh, moves Mac Punch this is a good uh, move to use this always goes first for fighting type if you want to switch out for close combat it's another good substitute bullet seed this is a good uh, backup move for a uh, seed bomb it hits foes up uh, two uh, five times in a row seed bomb is the ultimate grass type move I feel well the second best until the grass started moving, that was more powerful. But still, get Seed Bomb and use it. Sword Dance buffs up your attack stats, which is good. Use that, then use Seed Bomb. Uh, that's it for Breloom. Just remember, if you cannot get the grass type or you hate the grass type starter, go for Breloom. So let's go ahead and uh, get to the next Pokemon. Next up on the list is a ground type. I think it's the best in the game. No, it is the very best. Possibly one of the best Pokemon you're going to use a lot. Is Guard Chump. Now, Guard Chump uh, does have two other uh, forms it evolves into. I have a field guy on that for the mid game uh, video. Now, here's the deal it's not only a ground type, it is a very good dragon type. It can use ground type annihilate foes, and if you want to get some dragon type moves in this, and just in case you don't use your ride at all for your dragon type Pokemon moves, your Scarlet and Violet. Good news is you can get this in both uh, type of games too. Now, Garchomp is a dragon and ground type. Terror type is ground. Keep it that way. Now, Soft Sands, you want to hold on to that. I feel like it's the best uh, item for ground type Pokemon. So this way it empowers your ground type moves. So uh, here's the uh, deal. Sand Veil, when it boosts Pokemon's evasion, when you use the Sandstorm, if you want to go that route, you replace Crunch and just uh, use uh, Sand Veil. And then, of course, uh, your evasion goes up like crazy. I'm more of an offensive guy, so... Here's my moves. Crunch, this is a good dark type move. Drop your opponent's uh, defensive stats. If you want to, put another dragon type move into it. A very good one. Dig's a good move. You go in the ground in the first turn, see what your opponent attacks, and you pop up and hit him. Now, a better move up here is my favorite in the entire game for ground type moves. It is Earthquake. Now, I'm going to go ahead and explain about what Earthquake uh, does. It, it, it attacks everything on the field, your allies and your foes alike. And it does a lot of damage against the opponent's weak to ground type moves. This is the ultimate ground type move to me. Now, Dragon Claw, Claw is a good, uh, we call it Dragon type move. This uh, Dragon type move will wreck foes like crazy. Other than that, Garchomp is a great ground type Pokemon. Also a very solid uh, Dragon type too. If, like I said before, you don't want to use your uh, ride at all. I'm going to go over the next Pokemon on the list. The next Pokemon on the list I feel like is the perfect ice type Pokemon to use is Braxacalibur. This is an ice and dragon type Pokemon. I'm using it really for its ice type moves. It's really powerful. Built the right way like I have it, Braxacalibur could annihilate foes that are weak to ice and believe me, uh, later on down the gym battle lines or anything else, Braxacalibur will excel badly. Yep, see I'm about to wreck it. Now it's going to try to use of course uh, other moves but Due to the fact I have a strong bonding move with this Pokemon, yeah, I'm going to dodge many things and do much more uh, damage uh, too. So, I'm going to go ahead and go over it now. Braxacalibur is a dragon and ice type. Terror type is ice. Keep it. Held item. I'm using Never Melt Ice. This boosts my ice type moves. This is what I want. This is my main focus of this Pokemon is using ice type moves just to wreck foes like crazy who are weak against ice. Now, Thermal Change is not bad in case... Uh, 
Smart Alec uh, Pokemon who's weak to ice decide to have a fire type move ready against me. Still, I cannot be burned. Plus, my attack stats goes up. I put some good moves into it. Uh, protect. This is a, just uh, protect yourself from all attacks. This just tells you what kind of attacks your opponent has. If anything, like for example, a fire move, that's why I immediately get this Pokemon out of the battlefield. If it's something else, I keep it in. Ice Shard uh, hurls ice chunks at foes. This always goes first. This is my finisher move. In case Ice Go Crash does nothing. Dragon Dance is a nice buffer move. Buffs up my attack and speed stat badly. Great to use uh, starting out the battle sometimes. Icicle Crash, uh, one hit, boom. Most opponents will fall who's weak to ice. If not, Ice Shard will finish it off. Uh, that's about it for Braxacalibur. I'm going to go over the uh, next Pokemon on the list. Next up is the normal type Mouse Hold. Now, I show you in a previous video on how it gets uh, lesser form. So when you evolve it, it becomes Mouse Hold. It depends on how many mouses you uh, do uh, get your three or uh, four. This is a very good normal type Pokemon. Use against ghost types, so this way ghost types try to use against normal types, nothing happens, or uh, certain situations that you uh, want to use for other things. Do not use it against fighting type Pokemon because they'll get annihilated. So let's uh, go over Mouse Hold's uh, moveset and uh, more. Now Mouse Hold's a normal uh, type Pokemon, pure no moral, terror type is normal. I decided to give it Silk Scarf because it'll boost up normal type Pokemon moves, that's what I want. There's actually one good uh, normal type move I'm using and it's really OP at times as you saw in the uh, fight. So let's go over the uh, move set, shall we? And one more thing, this little guy is a thief. Now, Cheek Pouch is uh, the Pokemon's hit points are restored when it eats any berries. That's very good. And plus the effects it gets. Now, Crunch is a good dark type move. Use it to drop down your target's uh, defensive stats. Uh, another uh, good one uh, is, is up is a Bullet Storm. It's a grass type move. I decided to keep it on this one because in case I'm facing a situation as a normal type or uh, something else mixed with it. Uh, Play Rough is a good fairy type move. Lower your opponent's attack stat. Population Bomb. This combo will do uh, 1 to 10 times worth of damage in a row. So if it gets to 10 at this point, and of course so you're facing ghost types, it's annihilated thanks to this little uh, group of mouses. Uh, that's about it for mouse holds. So we're going to get to the uh, next uh, Pokemon on the list, shall we? After you capture the uh, Pokemon Violet Exclusive Iron Moth, you're good and ready to go. Now, please note, in the next uh, part of this uh, video, I will give out the uh, Scarlet uh, alternative to uh, this one. Iron Moth, first of all, is a uh, fire and, of course, uh, poison-type Pokemon with some nice poison moves. This is my uh, go-to uh, poison Pokemon. I felt like it was better than Toxicity, even though Toxicity is really nice, but this one's much, much better, I felt. So I'm just testing out his moves, like for example, Sludge Wave does a lot of damage. And also has a decent move that uh, I uh, decided to pick up. I'll uh, explain up more on uh, that. Still, if your Pokemon Violet players go for it, if your Pokemon Scarlet, try to trade for it. If not, the next Pokemon on the list, everybody should go for it if you're a Scarlet players. First, I already told you all is a Fire and Poison type. It was a Fire Terror. I changed it to Poison for a reason. I want to focus on more on that. Now, Razor Claw, this is a good holding item for Iron Moth. I felt like I want to boost up my uh, critical hit ratio, which is uh, good. Now, I'm going to go over the uh, move sets and also the ability uh, Iron Moth does have. Uh, Quark Drive boosts the Pokemon's most persistent stat on electric terrain or if the Pokemon's holding booster energy. If I have to get myself booster energy, 
I'll uh, be sure to uh, use that. Now, Struggle Bug is uh, very good. It drops your opponent's uh, attack, special attack stats, which is uh, very good. Uh, Acid Spray, uh, this also lowers your target's uh, special defense harshly. Open up with this. Sludge Wave hits uh, everything around the area. Hits everybody with uh, poison attack moves. This is a very good move to use, especially if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Fairy Dance, I decided to boost up in case I want to boost up my own attack. Just don't use it on anything that's uh, strong against fire type. Other than that, Iron Moth is a great Pokemon in Pokemon Violet if you get it. So I'm going to go over the uh, next part of the video, which is the Scarlet uh, Poison uh, Pokemon Alternative. Next up on the list is the Scarlet Alternative I decided to give out is uh, Toxicity. This is a electric and poison type Pokemon. I was uh, using it before I changed to Iron Moth and Pokemon Violet. It was a very good Pokemon overall. You can get Toxicity in uh, both uh, games. Now, if Toxicity is electric slash poison type, uh, its terror type is electric, but I would change it to poison if you're going the poison route like I am. I say I hold on to Razor Claw, this way my uh, critical hit ratio definitely goes up. Now, uh, Boom Burst is a uh, very nice normal type move. Great to use all around. And I was sorry to say, yeah, I used it once or twice, especially during one of the uh, Team Star battles. Uh, Gunk Shot is a very powerful move. It flings garbage at opponents. Five charges, but it hits them very hard and also poisons the target. Sludge Bomb, uh, the user hurls insanely sludge at targets, afflicts some uh, damage, also cause poison. Overdrive is a very nice electric type move to use. You can abuse it like crazy on opponents. I'm going to give an honorable mention, Shift Gear. This will boost up your attack stat and, of course, speed stat. If you want to uh, get rid of the normal type move, Boom Burst, and put Shift Gear to buff your uh, character up. As I said before, this is a great alternative to Iron Moth, so if you are a Pokemon Scarlet player, make sure you uh, do get it. In my uh, mid-game Pokemon team guide, I'll show you all on how to get this Pokemon. So I'm going to go ahead and go over the uh, next Pokemon in this video. The uh, next Pokemon on the list is Espeon. This is evolved from Eevee. You had to do uh, some things in order to get this psychic type Pokemon. My uh, mid-game guide will help you out on that. I'll put that in the description, of course, the timestamps. Now, Espeon is a very powerful psychic type Pokemon. It has some very good psychic type moves, among other moves, uh, too. Make sure when you get your Eevee, evolve uh, quickly into uh, this uh, Pokemon at level 25. And then you'll have a very solid psychic type on your team. It was my closer for one of the fights, I'll tell you uh, that. Now, uh, Espeon is a psychic type Pokemon. It changed from normal to normal with Eevee's evolving into this. Its terror type is normal though, but I advise getting it into terror type changed into psychic type. I decide to hold on to Razor Claw so this way if I do a critical hit, I do some damage. Now, if I really take care of Eevee, raise up his friendship level, it'll critical hit more often than not. Synchronize is uh, good for your Pokemon is burned, paralyzed, or poisoned by another Pokemon. That Pokemon will be affected with the same condition too. It's like payback. Now let's go over the uh, moves of our wonderful psychic type Pokemon, Espeon. Psychic, very OP uh, psychic type move. Not only does a lot of damage, but lowers your opponent's special defense stat. Great to abuse. Psychic Beam uh, is another backup. Does uh, some good damage and confuses the target with uh, psychic damage, of course. I saw I get Dazzling Gleam, so uh, this way I could do a powerful flash against opponents in case I see some fairy types too. Quick Attack, this is my normal type uh, move I saw to keep, and it's very good to uh, use. So Espeon is a great uh, psychic type Pokemon. You have to work on it to evolve from Eevee. And once you do get it, you'll wreck foes like crazy. And this is for both types of the games, by the way. So let's do a, go over the uh, next Pokemon on this list.
Now, uh, next up on the list is the Pokemon Violet exclusive Iron Thorns. Don't worry, Pokemon Scarlet players or Pokemon Scarlet fans. The next Pokemon list will be for you. Now, this is an Area Zero post game. You can capture it as I've shown you all before. This is a Rock and Electric type. If you want to go electric type, that's fine, but I prefer going the rock type since his rock moves are much better and more powerful. You see this uh, flying slash flowing fool. It's about to die in one hit, thanks to it being uh, weak to uh, rock types. So this is the Pokemon you want to use who's weak against rock types that's more offensive. So anyways, uh, Iron Thorns is a rock and electric type. Terra type is a uh, rock keep it. Holding items look for anything that boosts rock type moves. I have that on my next Pokemon on the list. Now, Quark Drive, it boosts Pokemon's most efficient stats, and of course, if you also, or if I should say, or I uh, have the uh, booster energy uh, holding item too. I'm going to go over the first one, Charge is a nice, uh, of course, uh, electric type move. We'll go on that later on. Rock Slide does some good amount of damage, make, make your Pokemon flinch. If your Pokemon flinches, they'll miss out on a turn. Stone Edge, very powerful if you really took and carry your uh, Iron Thorns via picnics and such. You'll critical hit more often than not. Charge is a good move. I would probably say if you want to drop your opponent's special defense stat, go ahead and do so. Another one I put in there is Thunderbolt. It's a very nice uh, electric type move to do some serious damage. So my final advice is, is try to trade for your Pokemon Scarlet players. If not, get the next Pokemon I'm about to show on the list. If you do have this Pokemon with you, it's very powerful and it'll wreck things as a uh, rock type Pokemon. Even though it's rock and electric, but still, it's a very nice rock type Pokemon to seriously use. So here's the next Pokemon for you Pokemon Scarlet fans out there. Next up for you Scarlet players out there and or fans too who love Pokemon Scarlet or Violet is the Garganshock. It's hard to say but this is a pure rock type Pokemon. I do have a video guide on how to capture it in both my uh, early starter and of course my uh, mid game one too. This uh, pure rock type Pokemon is devastating. It has a nice exclusive uh, move. So for you Scarlet fans out there, this is a Pokemon to uh, definitely get. Now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate against this fool here. It's going to try to do a Giga Drain. Well, big mistake. I'm about to go ahead and use uh, this uh, Pokemon's uh, exclusive move, uh, Salt Cure. And there you go. We one-shotted it. So it's uh, a Rock-type Pokemon you want to use if you cannot get Iron Thorns. So uh, this Pokemon is pure Rock. Terra-type is Rock. Holding item you want is Hardstone. This will boost up your rock type moves big time. So let's go over the move set and abilities of uh, this Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and suggest. As for ability, Purify Salt. Uh, Purify Salt protects it from status condition, half damage taken from ghost type moves. Pretty good to have. Now, its current move set, this is uh, what I did set up with. And yeah, I did put Earthquake, and I'll explain about that in a uh, bit. So here we go uh, Stone Edge, very powerful uh, rock type move. Uh, chance of landing critical hit. Now, if you've been taking care of this Pokemon in camps, that will critical hit more often than not. Salt Cure, it cures the target, flicks damage every uh, turn. In other words, cures abilities and su such. Steel and water types are more strongly affected by this move. You see those, pop that baby and just watch them suffer. Earthquake, this is a very nice ground type move. You won't get the uh, damage that ground type Pokemon uses it with, but it's a good alternative. Iron Defense, pop this up and your defensive stat goes up. Now, this is a great Pokemon for your uh, Scarlet players, so definitely get it ASAP. I'm going to go over the last Pokemon on the list. Last but not least is the Water-type Gyarados. This is my favorite Water-type Pokemon. This is a uh, Water-slash-Flying-type. Uh, it starts out as a Water-type uh, Magikarp. You could get the Magikarp Evolve it to, uh, at level 20, or uh, just catch Gyaradoses out in the field. I think I saw one or two of them in Area 0. This is a uh, nice, like, like I say, water type Pokemon to use. It has one or two moves that are very powerful. Now, Gyaradosis is a water slash flying type. Now, Terror type is water. Keep it as water. I decided to use Mystic Water to boost up my water type moves. I have one uh, water type move I uh, do use that's very OP. I feel like it's best for Gyaradosis. Before we uh, do that, let's uh, go over this stuff. Now, it does intimidate and make sure opponent's attack stat lower. First of all, Waterfall user charges at target and make it flinch. Hits it with water damage. Very nice and powerful. Uh, Ice Fang is good to use for ice type moves. Crunch hits foes, lower their defense. Dragon Dance boosts up your Pokemon's uh, stats, attack stats, and more. 
Other than uh, that, uh, I'll probably say Gyarados is your best water type Pokemon to use. If you want to stack it with uh, one or two more water type moves, go ahead and do so. There's one of the Aqua moves out there that's really nice for Gyarados. And now I'm going to go over my uh, final advice for this uh, guy, so here we go. Here are some final advice before I do end the video guide, including I'll uh, show you all on how to uh, get some fast experience points in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now, know your Pokemon types. So, for example, if you're facing a fire type, do not bring any uh, ice or uh, grass types. Bring something like a water type. Uh, another thing, go on picnics constantly. Uh, wash up your Pokemon. Eat some food together. Play with them. You boost up their friendship rate. Keep on doing it many times. And then they'll do a lot more damage to critical hits more often. Especially with some of the Pokemon skills I did show in this video will help you out big time. Another thing, look for holding items. It'll help you out. Uh, terror shards, collect 50 of them if you want to change your terror types. Once you have 50, uh, then uh, after that is uh, set and uh, done, go to the uh, normal gym battle town at that restaurant. Talk to the cook there. He'll uh, change your uh, Pokemon's terror type to the one you want. As long as you have 50 shards of that uh, type. Uh, one more piece of advice I'm going to give everybody. It's uh, very simple. Now, in order to get some very nice experience points, you're going to need to be uh, northeast of the Team Star Fairy uh, boss base. That's where you fought Ortega at. You need to do is go on a picnic. Go make yourself a ham sandwich, which is ham and, of course, pickles. Once you do that, then your normal uh, type spawn rate increases and you face uh, Clancy's. These are these rabbit type Pokemons holding the eggs. Murder many of them as possible because they give you a thousand experience points per uh, pop. You have the experience egg much more than uh, that. Get your Pokemon up to level 75. You'll dominate uh, post-game content. If you really want to be a Pokemaniac, go for 100 on all of them on this uh, video. This is it for my uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video guide. The perfect post-game Pokemon team video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet guides just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. Have a wonderful day or night and do enjoy the view.